This is a Key Stage 3 sound video looking at echoes and ultrasound. So here we look at echoes and echoes are um, basically reflections of sounds off hard surfaces. So we've said before that um, soft materials, curtains, furniture, sofas, bed covers, all those sorts of things absorb sound but those hard surfaces reflect sound. So if you go into a big tunnel and you scream your shout outs, a, a, a word or something, um, you get that reflection back, you get the echo back, okay? And the speed of sound can be calculated by measuring the time for a sound to be produced and detected using equipment. Um, and if you know the distance between yourself, the wall that the sound is reflecting off, and then you double it because it's got to come back again as it's reflected back, you've got your distance. You can measure the time taken for the sound to be um, detected and then using the equation speed equals distance divided by time we can work out the speed of the sound and this is a process that bats use their eyesight isn't particularly good and they use this process called echolocation to help detect their prey okay as you can see in that picture and then ultrasound is sound that has a frequency higher than humans are able to hear so we said that humans can hear between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz and ultrasound is above 20,000 hertz. It can be used to create um, images of unborn babies so ultrasound is used on the mother's tummy and um, the reflection of those ultrasound waves at different distances um, through the body help to create this image of the unborn child. Okay, So if it is reflected um, and it takes a long time to reflect, then that's part of the body that is further away. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thank you.